So little bit of background about the video about T-Rex anti-material rifle. We have this rifle pretty much from the start of the conflict, but uh, for certain reasons I didn't mention it much, I didn't make much footage, okay? The reason being mainly because we didn't have a well-trained shooter for it. So using it operationally was something that we didn't do very often. And also that, war that particular gun was accepted uh, officially into the Ukrainian army in time of the frozen conflict, when basically there were mined no man's land, reaching on big distances with heavy machine guns that were, and snipers that was like the bulk of the fighting. In this little bit more dynamic warfare, you really need specialist gunner for it. Not even sniper, but just anti-material rifle guy. So that's why we didn't use it much. My guys told me, okay, we need to give it back in the armory tomorrow. What I did, because it just so happened that I was in the city too, I just raced to the Airbnb and took uh, footage just of how the gun is constructed. There will be no combat footage, no shooting, because I did it on the, like on the last minute, okay? So enjoy the video. Here we will take a look at the disassembly of the T-Rex. We need to remove two captive pins, which uh, that's very hard to do. You sometimes need to use pliers because they are huge diameter. There is a lot of friction. You unhook it in the front and pull back to basically remove it from the socket out of the buffer. What is little bit in the way is the cheek rest that should actually be removed at first. Here I did a mistake. The cheek rest can be oriented for right and left handed shooter. The monopod also gave name to the gun, T-Rex, like reminding the short hand, front hands of the T-Rex. We can see the beefy trigger group, AR pattern pistol grip, everything milled, everything very solid. To taking apart the bolt, we need to remove small non-captive pin that holding the firing pin of the weapon. So we just push through, remove it completely, here you can see the pin, just a smooth one, pulling out the relatively beefy firing pin, and then removing the leading part of the bolt. But for that we need to remove another pin, this time a very big one, okay? That also the firing pin running through securing it that way. We're removing the leading part of the bolt, you can see how beefy and complicated part it is. Then we go to removing the bolt handle, which have molded plastic on, very hard, rugged plastic. We pull back on it, get it out of the groove, here we groove, here we have the handle. That is very comfy, you can really smack it with your palm without injuring yourself. And then the bolt with two ejectors, one beefy extractor, five rows of uh, lugs. Very complicated part and I bet also very pricey to make. Here we can see a little bit of corrosion in, on the bolt face. That's thanks to the corrosive ammo that's used for the T-Rex. You need to really clean it well, pour hot water through the gun so you don't get any uh, salts, any residue out of the primer. You get it all out when you clean it. To assemble the weapon, we repeat the process. Let's talk a little bit about the T-Rex itself. It was developed by company Snipex in Kharkiv. There is also a version that's magazine fed. That's called Alligator. The gun is even longer than this one. The caliber is 40.5 by 114 millimeters. It's the basically same ammo like for the KPVT family of heavy machine guns. By the documentation, you can uh, do fire effectively till 2000 meters, 7000 meters is the maximum range, the entire gun weighed 25 kilograms. In the year 2020 it was officially accepted to the 
Armed Forces of Ukraine. The initial batch was 100 pieces. The angle of the rail for the optic, it's 35 MOA, a minutes of angle, so when you mount optic and, and want to shoot on such differences, you need to have actually the scope base under a certain angle, okay? So you can compensate for the bullet drop. What makes this gun kind of difficult to zero is the many different types of ammunition that are used for it. So you need to focus on the one type of ammo and there is also no purpose made ammo for this uh, gun. You will always use just the heavy machine gun ammo. The penetration of the armored piercing bullet is 30 to 32 millimeters of armored steel. So applied correctly you can really cause some damage on lightly armored vehicles. Scope that go with this rifle, it's 6 to 25 power. The diameter of the front lens is 56 millimeters and the diameter of the tube of the tubus where the mount is is 34 millimeters. You can see during assembling the weapon you, can, you actually need to depress the entire trigger group so you depress the buffer, okay? So that's why it's a little bit annoying to put it back together. You just slap the captive pins through make them to go flush with the body of the gun then the cheek rest that we can as I mentioned cor uh, orient in both ways for right and left handed shooters slap it on and that's the assembly completed I must say that the I must say that the bolt goes very very smoothly on this gun and here you can see the entire length of the gun with added camouflage and that's about it. So thank you very much guys for watching and see you in the next video.